Dear friends and participants, Namaste and greetings from Nepal. I take this opportunity to say a few words about my works as a journalist and media educator and trainer. I started my career as a television reporter two decades ago and have worked in half a dozen of mainstream news media in Nepal in different capacities reporting and writing about health, human rights and gender rights, which I continue today as the editor-in-chief of Health TV Online. I'm pleased to be the part of Asia-Pacific Regional Training on Gender Equality and Human Rights. Many thanks to the organizers for inviting me to deliver a session in lead up to 16 days campaign against sexual and other forms of gender-based violence, Walls Ads Day, International Day of Persons with Disabilities and Human Rights Day. Through this session today, uh, I'm focusing on a role of media as one of the key quirks in the wheels for development, justice, and democracy, and will highlight three key factors and issues. Number one, state obligations towards free and independent media. Number two, enabling environment for journalists to advocate development and justice. And number three, adherence to media ethics, responsibility and accountability in doing justice to our roles. Talking to first point, states and governments have responsibility to protect free media. States and government have responsibility to protect free media. Democratic states do that even by encouraging media to criticize their works so to have balance of power among executive, legislative, and judiciary. Media is known as the fourth state because of its role to watch upon organs of a democratic state. It is high time to media checks and balance power, watches on wrongdoings of the power centers. And at the top of that, states should encourage media to show them right way towards fulfilling obligations laden citizens. We know that mass media is considered as the voice of voiceless. This tunes well in advocating and protecting rights of individuals without fear and favor. Hence, journalists need to know about countries' obligations towards citizens' rights. Also to check whether governments abide by their commitment to protecting human rights, mainstreaming deprived people to the process development. Likewise, Article 19 of the International Convenient on Civil and Political Rights states the rights to freedom of speech that everyone shall have the right to hold opinions without interference and freedom to seek, receive and impart information and ideas of all kinds regardless of frontiers either orally in writing or in a print in the form of art or through any other media of his or her their choice. Media should watch on governments whether they have ratified this and similar treaties introduced laws according to international commitment. Number third is uh, journalism is a profession guided by ethics. Adherence to media ethics, responsibility and accountability in doing justice to our roles is key to ensuring human rights and inclusive participation. I would recommend all our participants to go through code of ethics prepared and enforced by professional associations or press councils and other similar organizations. The fundamental and universal principles within any code of ethics call on, we simply say accuracy, balance and credibility, do no harm principles, depending freedom of information, comment and criticism, reporting facts without distortion, staying away from plagiarism, defamation and unfounded accusations. 
extra attention towards gender identity, gendered role, disability, minors and children. The list is long. I would stop here and would like to respond to your queries and session. Many thanks and Namaste.